deal. If we don't, whatever we don't finish today, we'll finish tomorrow. Um, uh, I'll be here after school today, tomorrow morning, in case you need something. Remember, uh, this week, if you're going to redo an assignment that I painted back to you, if you're going to do some of the assignments that have LIs in the gradebook, so you didn't complete it, um, they're due by Thursday, preferably. I want them by Thursday, that way I can actually get them graded for the semester. So you have kind of a week. So if you get done early, start look at the gradebook, see if you're missing something for me. I went to the gradebook. Um, I know some people turn in some stuff Friday. Um, I'll get that in the gradebook as well. I think I have two assignments over Thursday. So, maybe. All right. I'm going to walk around the collective practice guide. Make sure your name's on it, number one. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, good question there. Um, you can use that property sheet if you have one. Okay. If you don't know what that property sheet is, it looks something like this. Has that, you know, the properties of equality on it. Back kind of thing. You can use that if you have it. If you don't, boo hoo. You have to maybe find it tomorrow, and you can use it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> And if you need one, you can always go yeah. to the website and print one off. I haven't, you just had to go back and check to kind of figure out what day we did the, that study guide that practice, or the property sheet. There, it was right on the top of those pages when we, when we used it. Okay. Formulas are on the board if you need it. There's one up there that's for pre-calc, the x equals negative b, that's the quadratic equation. You're not going to use that bottom one. I just put everything up there that every class needed. Make sure right when you get it, put your name on it. Full name, please. Period number, maybe. I know some people like to come in at a later time and kind of work on it. But yeah, today and tomorrow's no worries. Through the instructions. Now, I know that picture number one is faded. I will put it up on, on the board here in a second. In fact, let's see where's my at. There's that picture. In fact, let me pull this down so you can see. There you go. So, if you need to fill that in, that's your plane right there. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I blew it up really big so you can see it. So, plane, you got a little faded. That line L is going to kind of poke you through. There you go. Everything else is pretty straightforward. All right. Uh, so number one, make sure you're naming all the uh, all the things I want. Remember, I'm looking for notation. Are you giving me the correct number of letters? Are you using the right symbols? That sort of thing. Are you even answering the question that I want? So like name a line, name a line that does not contain, that does contain, that intersects, another name for something. You know that sort of thing. Number two, you're finding the distance between those two points. Okay. You have your formula, it's actually on the board. I'll get rid of that picture here in a second. But if you need to shade that in, you can barely see it. So there you go. And I'll click the lights if you need it, if you want to see that. So it's a little bit darker. Number three, you're naming the uh, you know the different objects for that angle, like a vertex, the size, another name, a linear pair, vertical angles that are acute, you know, that type of thing. Number four, you need to name the polygons. So that's number one, number four. Then you got to tell me, are they convex or concave? Are they regular or irregular? So that's what you're doing on number four there. There's two pictures, so they should have three answers each. Okay. Number five, you're telling me, um, is that true or false? Um, it should be pretty obvious there. <laughs> um, write the converse, write the inverse, write the contrapositive. So those are three individual sentences, and then tell me if those are true and false. The big thing that I want you to do on number five, make sure you label which one's which. Like this whole, this is the converse, this is the inverse, this is the contrapositive. That way I know which one is which, okay? Uh, number six, you are simplifying that problem down. You might want to use your property sheet. Um, I don't know, it takes about six lines, six, seven, something like that. It's, this, it's almost the same as the one on your practice guide. Uh, number seven, you're doing a proof. You're trying to prove what I'm asking for there. Uh, make sure you're doing a two-step or two-column method, you know, the two columns. So you're doing work on one side, properties on the other, kind of like we did in number six. Uh, but that is a geometry type proof. 
uh, number eight. Um, you're giving me what those pairs of those angles are. So I give you the options up above. Alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, same side exterior, corresponding or vertical. Okay? Um, so make sure that you're giving me whatever those are. The answers can repeat. I just need, what, five different answers there? Five answers. I shouldn't say different, but five answers. Okay? You may not use all categories. I don't know. Number nine, you're finding the answer for uh, the, the value for x that makes those lines parallel. It should be easy. I'll probably have to do on that one. Uh, if you want to plug it back and find the angles, it's fine. You don't have to. I'm not asking for that. Uh, number ten, you're giving me the, uh, the, you're graphing the lines there. There's two different lines. One is B, C, and the other one is going through A. That is perpendicular through A. And then you also have to state the equation. I want the equation that's passing through A, through A that is perpendicular. So I need that equation. It has to be in point slope form. Forms are on the board, you can see them over there. And then number 11, you're giving me that equation in slope intercept form. And the equation for that line that is drawn there. Okay. Questions, comments? I just went through all the instructions. Okay. And again, I will do that again tomorrow. So you get to hear all the instructions one more time. See if you did it. I'll post that picture up on the board. Um, I'll leave that there for a little while, maybe five, six minutes. And I'll get rid of it. Then you can see all the problems on the board. Because I know some of these front row can't really see that. The, the stuff that the okay, there you go. Work at your own pace. Take your time. You get today and tomorrow.